Hi there, I'm Diane from wokit.co.uk uh, and I'd just like to show you about a little bit of software which I've just found uh, which we can download for free if you have a Mac. Um, Rhinos, uh, Rhinosaurus has been around for quite a while uh, in, um, in, in the PC version but now they're developing a version for Mac which we can download for free which I did earlier. Uh, which I was rather pleased about, as so I've had a lot of fun playing with it. Um, if we look on uh, my options, I've downloaded it, you open it up as a file, and um, here it comes open. Uh, if we go to Show Templates, we can open up a standard template uh, in many different uh, settings so we have centimeters feet inches uh, large objects short uh, small objects I'm quite interested as uh, as I'm a jeweler in doing small objects and small objects millimeters will do perfect for rings so I'm going to open up a standard template okay so what pops up first of all is um, a little screen with four boxes on it uh, top front, perspective, and right. Okay, the top would show a view as if you're looking down on a piece of paper. Front, as if you're looking um, face on with the object. Right, from the right of the object. And perspective, we can um, wiggle about and move it around as a three-dimensional object. Uh, for this, I know with a Mac, uh, unless you have a trackpad, um, a lot of the actions can be right mouse click. You can hold down control, uh, which will help you do it, but it might be worth just slipping in a normal mouse with, uh, with a right mouse click. It just makes life a lot easier. So, as you see on here, I'm just going to take you just through, just basically, drawing a couple of things to, uh, to start off. I'm learning myself as well. Um, so we've got this little tool here. If we go to solid, we can, solid in the menu bar on the top, we can draw a multitude of things. You've got box, sphere, cylinder, cone, truncheated cone, pyramid, truncheated pyramid. Okay, I'm just gonna do a simple sphere. Okay, and we can just Literally, draw it on, drag it on to whatever you want it to be. Uh, you can set the diameter, radius uh, on the left hand side and just double click it and there you have your simple ball. Okay, now it looks a bit of nothing at the moment so I'm going to add a little bit of, uh, of a surface to it um, just so you can see it. Um, so if we go down to on the view button and go down to shaded, there we go, we have our first little ball. Okay, now from there I might want to draw a box. So I'm going to pop it in the top section on there again. So we'll go to, back to solid, box, corner to corner height and we'll draw the box on. You can use this box on the left hand side as well and you can put in your uh, diameter and everything. So we just for that's the top square as you're looking down on it. You let go, click, and then you draw the height of it. You can draw the height going up or the height going down. Oops, there you go. Okay, so I'm gonna do draw the height going up to there. Okay, so we now have four different views of this item. Uh, you can click on any of the boxes and that will bring that back up uh, to full screen so you can look at it more and go back to the multi boxes there. You can make any of these boxes into a shaded or wireframe, still on wireframe here, shaded in there. I'm going to take that back to wireframe. Okay so we've got the perspective and I'm just going to fiddle about a little bit with that. Let's let's get it going into that box. 
there. Okay, so they're fairly interlinked together. Now, first thing what I'm going to do, uh, just quite fun, I'm going to cut that little shape, a sphere, out of the box, which we do by going to solid, difference. Now, on the left hand side, we'll come up with Boolean difference, select surfaces or poly surfaces to subtract from. So we click on the on the box. Okay, we've done that. We can enter, press enter, or just click done. Okay, now we've got to select the poly surfaces to subtract with. So we'll click the ball. Then we'll go, if it's got delete input, it will delete the ball when you've pressed done. If you want to keep the ball there, you can take that out, you can delete the ball later. So if you're done, and, oh, look, it's disappeared. And there we go, we've got a simple shape, a sphere cut out of a cube. So we go back to the main boxes on there. Okay, now to wiggle your perspective up and down, if that's the correct word, uh, what I'm using is the right mouse and dragging mouse right, right mouse, click and dragging it around. Now on a Mac you can also use control and your left click. Okay, but I've said earlier, if you just slip in um, a mouse or if you've got a mouse with a um, with a, a right button on, it makes it a little bit easier. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching.